For us, the main challenge was the time frame. We, we kind of got the, the green light, I guess, sometime in July and had to be ready to launch at the beginning of October. So, uh, you know, I just really, the, our operations and engineering teams did an amazing job to get, to get this done. And uh, we were able to, uh, I know, I, I believe Ted Butler spoke to, um, uh, spoke yesterday, but we were able to kind of roll out some new technology on the post-production side and asset management side that we had been kind of slowly doing a soft rollout for baseball and, you know, this gave us a chance. We had to do a hard rollout for the NHL. Um, we also had to figure out, we don't have, um, we only have two control rooms at MLB Network, so we had to figure out, well, how are we going to do that? Um, where, what kind of studio space were we going to give them? And, you know, luckily, the one thing that I feel that we, we do excel in is, uh, is kind of content, graphic creation, um, our, our studio. So we were able to repurpose part of Studio 21 and give it to the NHL. Uh, we're also building a new control room and a new studio for them. Um, so that, that's really positive. That will launch um, in 2016. Um, but, you know, it, as always, it's an accelerated time frame. But the, the more time you have, like I feel the, the less time you have, the, the more you have to rise to the occasion and the more time you have, you're still at the end, you're not pushing to get your punch list done and to, to finalize everything. So um, kind of a mixed blessing.